All right, guys, this is Stephen Goa, technical analyst of LH Pro. So in this video, I'll discuss about zinc and I'll show you what is the anti and exit point and how zinc is forming, like what type of pattern are forming, how uh, how can uh, we trade in a zinc, what trading strategy we are going to use in zinc. So uh, let me tell you, in a 15 minute time frame, we have seen clear up 10 prices running and most of the people are thinking right now uh, we will start here uh, we are targeting here right before you enter by seeing this uh, uh, only a small time frame chart you can't you never enter in this market why i'll tell you so now you can see price just uh, reached the 200 moving average and we are looking for some buy opportunity here but if you want to enter here let's check it if you want to buy here let's check it in a large time frame how it should look like first uh, let me show you first that you can see we have seen double quickly we have seen double bottom are there all right we have seen here double bottom are there around here uh, seven one seven eight and uh, that's in this area so it is a high probability to reverse from this area but uh, this is weekly right so let's check it for intraday daily now daily is running in a downtrend have you seen and we have seen some support are there let me draw some supporting line here so I want to connect multiple touches area so if I want to draw here by connecting this weak point or you can say like tail but we have seen here multiple touches area are there in this body of this candle so that is why I drawn here and here we have seen multiple rejection rejection and in that case I want to draw a zone all right so let me draw a zone here where is safe yeah rectangle shape i want to connect here from here to this level now perfectly we have seen this is the range of this market right this is called resistance zone but 15 minute if you find like that here like that right we have seen this range and who people uh already they draw the range so they close i think they close uh, market in this area right all right now let's check it this line are respecting both sides price drop down reverse break drop down reverse break right broke and as a uh, resistant acting as a resistant now it's a resistant and uh, let's check it candlestick behavior how they are forming right okay so in that case we have to focus it now let's check it uh, who people already uh, seen my uh, previous video most powerful candlestick pattern or how to draw support and resistance so they comes to know how, what i'm going to talk about this one so now we have seen this is a large candle so let me tell you this is a hammer after that large bullish candle this one followed by a smaller bullish candle followed by even smaller candle after that they lose their entire bullish momentum all right where they lose their entire bullish momentum they lose their entire bullish momentum in the key point what is the key point this is the key point that is the resistance right that is called key point and exactly they lose their momentum near this key point and after that they form a doji pattern or you can say uh, inverted hammer not exactly inverted hammer okay it will be perfect doji pattern all right so when they are forming this type of pattern it is a high confirmation a high probability to reverse back from this area 
toward this supporting line. Is it clear? Okay. Good. Now we have seen here and then next, uh, next you can see here. Let me zoom on a little more. Now. This is bullish candle from here to here and after that next day we have seen this is inside bar right so you can see you can say like bearish harami pattern right and here you can see doji pattern and today they are trying to push down this market in this area all right so now we confirm that it is a high probability to reverse from this area now once you confirm that uh, how market is running so you never gonna take buy who people are going to buy right now nobody right okay everybody are looking for right now sell so that is why analysis is the most important okay good now let's check it in a uh, okay, let me tell you about moving average and moving average are confirming that the trend is down in a daily time frame because 50 moving average are running below 150 moving average. Okay, long term trend. Let's check it. Small term, medium term, not a small, medium. And the medium term moving average are telling us they are up because why 20 moving average cross 50 moving average this is medium term trend are telling us trend are up but they already reached their target point and most of the thinking hey they create higher sorry they create higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Not like that. Right? So, let me show you the zone of this market. Now we have seen, let me draw another zone. All right. One by one. Analytically, it will take a little more time, but I'm trying to minimize. Okay, okay what happened? Where is my shape? Where this is my shape and I'm going to put this line here by connecting most probability here and I'm going to connect this more tosses area now we have seen this is our range right got it so that is our trading range it is a high probability to market run like that so we have seen the range trend support and resistance everything right so let's go to medium term time frame learn now you can see this is four hour time frame it will look like that most of the people are doing wrong uh, entry here uh, they are hoping that is the important thing they entered here but they must close here right most of the people are hoping don't hope set your target book your profit and come out from the market right hope is very big enemy now another thing we have seen here what we have seen in this key point so this is key point so so you learn that technical word sometimes i'm using mostly key uh, like a technical word so technical word like that key point right key point that means resistant might be a support so now if i want to say here key point that means this is uh, resistant right now in our previous market we have seen triple top right right in this key point now what we have seen we have seen double top right like that like that and a reverse pick and remember they may create a new triple top also but we are looking for short only right now let's check it in a small time frame for our entry and exit so let's check in a 15 minute time frame now you can see price is running here who people uh, start buying without getting any confirmation right nobody agree and if you want to see this momentum of this uh, run so this is called run uh, this is called run okay just run 
full back. Just a minute. Right, just run, pull back, run, pull back, run, pull back, run, like that, right? Now you can see in this area we have seen price are not able to create new higher high and higher low from this area. If you wanna see here this run and they retrace and the next run they are not able to break this PPS higher point. That means the bullish momentum are reducing. So now they are ready to pull down. Now question is that can I enter right now for the sell? No. We can't enter right now. We never know, right? We may know we, they might uh, uh, create new triple top because in our previous market we have seen there are triple top, right? First top, second top, third top. And here we have seen first top, second top. Who knows? They are going to create triple top also, right? So we need, that is why we need a confirmation. High probability. So in that case, I want to draw uh, supporting line by connecting here supporting zone now we have seen uh, this is called supporting zone now you can see uh, let me draw zone because most of the people entering without using zone so zone is most important thing so how to draw learn how to do zone so we have seen this is the body of this candle and we have seen this is a tail of this candle and I want to draw like that and now we have seen this is a zone of this market. Now if remember for the enter if price break this zone when they will return back toward this support it will act as a resistance and in that case moving average will be somewhere here like that right and in this area below we will find some bearish candlestick pattern and start selling this is called high probability then don't enter blindly in this market because we have seen this is a support price pull up and now acting as a support so we must wait to break this supporting line for the uh, for the sell and leave it if you miss the market don't enter here somewhere market is running like this what people are doing you know market is running like that running like that running like that running like that they think hey they broke this area just enter here otherwise I will miss the opportunity that is called FOMO fear of missing out and uh, start selling here exactly and after that what happened price goes up placing 20 point SL here and they hit the SL and after that boom market and after that thinking hey my lag is too bad when I start selling price just push up and hit my SL and come back again why it happen with me not not your luck this is your uh, wrong analysis right that is you just focus on wait keep your patience right fix your mind if you are missed that opportunity leave it this market today wait for proper opportunity right that is important now question is that can I buy here right because they may create a triple top also and how many points are there how can I miss that almost 1 rupees uh, 1.5 rupees this is a too long but I am not interested because I have seen all momentum are losing I am not greedy if price push up toward this level so uh, I am looking for short here right that is the trading strategy so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching